In our reading of Isaiah chapter 31 and 32 today, there are a couple of truths that really stand out to me. In chapter 32, Isaiah describes what the rule of a righteous king and just ruler looks like. He says in verse one and two of chapter 32, look, a righteous king is coming and honest princes will rule under him. Each one will be like a shelter from the wind and a refuge from the storm, like streams of water in the desert and the shadow of a great rock in a parched land. Isaiah describes a future in which righteous justice will characterize the millennial reign of Jesus, but also the provision and protection we can experience even today under his care. And then there's the second theme in chapter 31, honestly, that runs throughout all of scripture. In verse one, he says, what sorrow awaits those who look to Egypt for help, trusting in their horses and chariots and charioteers, depending on the strength of human armies, instead of looking to the Lord, the Holy One of Israel. You know, often, far too often, we can easily turn to, to earthly solutions, rely on our own strength when facing challenges. Like the people in Isaiah's time, we may be tempted to seek help from the world around us, trusting in tangible, visible, and the immediate. But God, he calls us to a different kind of trust. And this is well established all throughout scripture. I mean, the psalmist in Psalm 118 puts it this way, it's better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in people. It's better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. In Psalm chapter 40, verse four, he writes, "'Oh, the joys of those who trust in the Lord, "'who have no confidence in the proud "'or in those who worship idols.'" You see, my encouragement to you today is to seek the Lord. Let's not rely on our own strength without seeking Him. Let's trust in His righteousness, His justice, and take refuge and strength and shelter in His care and place our trust firmly in Him.